starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Hi! Uh, on today's video I am doing a fabric review uh, for a fabric that I have tested for Minerva Crafts. Um, so just to tell you a little bit about how the testing works, um, so ultimately Minerva Crafts will provide me with some uh, fabric and I make a garment up in it and test it so I get the fabric for free uh, but then in return for that I will write a blog post about it for them to uh, share on their website. Um, so it's a great way for um, sewers to see different fabrics made up in different type of garments but it, I also find it great personally for me because it allows me to try fabrics out that perhaps I wouldn't ordinarily try. Um, so the fabric that I am telling you about today is called, I've got my phone here just so I can give you all the details, it's the Lady McElroy Spearmint Haze four-way stretch samba crepe suiting dress fabric and this is priced at £20.99 per metre so it isn't one of the cheapest fabrics but the quality is great and that's why I wanted to tell you about it today. So let me just give you some of the technicalities and then I will um, tell you all about what I've made. So it is 58 inches wide um, the composition is 94% polyester and 6% spandex. Um, it's a woven but obviously was stretch because of the spandex and it is washable at uh, 40 degrees and I did pre-wash the fabric as I always do uh, before I started to um, make my garment out of it. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, in fact, what I did do is I did a um, video recording before I cut into the fabric so I could show you the drape and how much stretch is in it. So I'm just going to flick over to that video um, so I can show you that and then I'll tell you more about my garment. So I'll just try and show you this fabric before I cut it out. Um, so it is quite a heavy weight, uh, this one, but it does drape well as, as well. So just see if you can see that. So it is heavy, but it does drape really nicely. Um, I do like the colours on this as well, because I think this will work well for any season, because you've got the kind of mint greens and things in the background for spring and summer. Um, but then it does have some darker colours running through the flowers as well um, for autumn, winter. So I'll just bring it in a little bit closer and show you. So just to show you the detail. And you can see on the back, so although it's kind of coloured and printed on the front, on the back it's white. And this fabric is not sheer um, at all, so um, you, you, can't, you can't see through it, so you, you wouldn't need to line it if you were making a skirt or something like that with it, unless you wanted the lining in for comfort. Um, it isn't see-through at all. Okay, so the garment that I have made is the Wear Lemonade Fiona Dungarees. Now I have released a um, video already about the dungaree pattern itself, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about the pattern, um, but what I will do is put a link in the video notes. So if you've not already seen that video, you can, you can go off and check it out because it is a great, great pattern. Um, but this was um, always the fabric that I intended to use for that pattern. And the reason for it is the dungarees are quite a retro 1970s style. And for me, this fabric just feels like a really 1970s, it's got a real 1970s vibe to it. And I'm a 1970s baby, so for me that is absolutely perfect. So um, what I absolutely love about this garment made up in this fabric is it's super comfy. So because it does have the stretch, but it's a woven, um, it fits really now, nice, really well, really snug um, around the waist. Um, but then around the tummy area and if I've had a big meal or something like that, it will um, just kind of stretch with me um, and doesn't feel like it's kind of pulling too tight. So um, I really loved it for that. 
The fabric was really easy to work with. It did sew up just like a woven. So it was really simple to cut. Rather than um, pinning the uh, pattern pieces to the fabric when I cut them out, uh, what I actually did is used a chalk wheel to trace around the pattern pieces. I always try to do that when I'm working with a fabric that's got any element of stretch because when you're pinning, you can distort the fabric slightly. Um, so the tracing wheel work, worked absolutely fine. And because this fabric is white on the inside, it was really easy to see the chalk lines to cut out as well. So, so yeah, um, really easy to cut out, really easy to sew, it did sew just like a woven. I used my Genome blue tip needles to sew it because I use that with 98% um, of the fabrics that I work with. Um, I use a, a, a Genome blue tip needle and that worked absolutely fine. I had no skip stitches, um, the tensions were, 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 were absolutely fine, so that was great. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I, I love the texture to the fabric and the fact that it's not static at all. So um, as I'm wearing these, they're not clinging to my legs, they're not clinging to my underwear or the top that I'm wearing underneath it. Um, it does work really, really well. Um, of course, I will add photos in throughout the video um, so you can see exactly what these are like being worn. Um, a couple of things that I found tricky, well really the only thing that I found tricky was pressing this fabric. It just doesn't like to be pressed at all. It's great in one way because I don't think I'll ever really need to iron these because it doesn't crease up. But when it comes to then um, wanting to press um, hems or press the edges in on the patch pockets and things like that, it became really difficult. I've got a little bit of the fabric left to show you. So you can see, you know, if you fold it over, even when you add loads of steam, it just pings back. Um, it just, just doesn't um, set a, a, a line in place on it at all. So what I did to help with that is wherever I wanted to um, fold the fabric over, um, where I would normally use the pressing method, what I did is sewed a line of straight stitches. So for example, where I was doing the hem on the um, bottom of the legs, um, I did a stitch line with where I wanted to fold it over um, and then I used that to, you find, you find then because you've got that stitch line there, the fabric does fold over much easier um, and it does give me that line to follow to make sure that I'm sewing straight. Uh, yes, you do end up with a, a stitching line um, showing, but that's on the inside of the garment, so it makes absolutely no difference to, to the finish of it at all. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I would say is the only tricky thing really is pressing. Um, I did use this fabric for the pockets. I'm not sure if I can get up high enough for you to see. Um, so yeah, I did use the, the same fabric for the pockets, but I did use a um, medium weight interfacing to uh, make sure that they didn't distort out of shape when I was sewing them. So it kind of took that stretchability out of the pockets um, and then they worked absolutely fine. I did the same method. Um, so when I was sewing the patch pockets, I did a stitch line around the edge where I, I needed to fold it in and then it made it easier to um, fold, it, fold it in um, around the edges and pin it into place on the trousers. So that worked absolutely fine as well. Um, what can sometimes be tricky is the straps with this type of um, heavier weight fabric, but I had no problems at all. Um, I did find that after I'd stitched them, they did look a little bit wavy um, because it's got stretching and you're sewing such a, a narrow piece of fabric um, that the sewing machine um, did kind of distort it slightly. But all I did is um, put the iron on with a really heavy steam and steamed them and you can see them kind of shrinking back into, into shape as I did that. So that again worked absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with you the garment that I've made out of this lovely fabric. If I'm honest, I think these may be my favourite make of the year so far. I absolutely love them. They are great to wear as um, a casual item, kind of with 
trainers or flats um, but I have also worn them uh, dressed up a little bit in the office at work as well with heels so I absolutely love them and I will definitely be looking at more of the range of this fabric in Minerva Crafts um, and choose some more designs because there are several different types of print in this range that you can choose from so be sure to check them out so that is it i just wanted to drop in to um, share with you about this fabric let me know what you think in the comments below whether you like the pattern whether you like the fabric any hints and tips that you've got for working with this type of crepe fabric that we can all learn from would be absolutely great so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe if you don't already and I will see you very soon. Bye! Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a